Let's now cover objects and types. Let's take this very simple plain JavaScript object that has two properties, so first name and last name. You might think that the type of this object is object, I mean it should be a type that takes any property. This is what we would be led to believe, but take a look, if we try to add here another property address, we are going to get an error. It says property address does not exist on type and we have here what looks like a type definition which is an object that can only have two properties, either first name or last name. We're going to see in a moment how to configure the TypeScript compiler to allow such situations if we want to. But right now let's focus here on this person variable. It's clear at this point that the TypeScript compiler is already defining a type and associating it to the person variable. If we hit Ctrl Shift P, we can see that the type is defined here, so it's first name and last name. So the type defined is an object that can only take these two properties. We could have defined this type explicitly by adding a type definition and defining the type here in line. So we will define the first name that needs to be a string and we are going to define the last name also a string. So as you can see the program compiles perfectly and it's equivalent to the version where the type is inferred. Now we might want this to be just a plain old JavaScript object that could take any property. If we want to do so we can remove this type definition and we can annotate here explicitly the type any. This means that this is an object that can have any property. And as you can see, we no longer get here a compilation error. We can do person.address or person.any other property. And also take the type definition of what we had before and define a type. Let's create a type called has name and we are going to assign it here this type definition. So has name is an object with these two properties which are strings and only with these two properties. We can now use the name to define that person is of type has name and now we get back again the error property address does not exist on type. So as we can see in TypeScript we can define our own types and those types don't have to be the definition for example of a class or a primitive type. We can define complex types and compose them together. It's also possible to say that for example the last name property is mandatory but maybe the first name property is optional. So let's say that for example we only had the last name. Right now this will give us a compilation error saying that the property first name is missing. But if we define it as optional using this syntax now the compilation error disappears. At this moment you might notice that has name this kind of looks like an object oriented interface and actually if we use here the keyword interface and we remove the equal sign this is actually an alternative definition of the type has name. We're going to learn when to use an interface and when to use the type definition in a later lesson. Right now we are going to show that there is another important feature in action here at this stage which is autocompletion. So if you do person dot you will see here the multiple properties available via autocompletion and this is something that is not available while using plain JavaScript. Now one last example of type definitions. We can compose types together so for example if we define a new type has address which let's add here a property street name which is a string. We can now define a new type and let's call it person. And this is the combination of a name property which is of type has name and notice the autocompletion again in action and the address property which is of type has address. So we can define here person as being of type person and as you can see this is no longer working we can add here a property name and we pass in the last name inside it. We still get an error this means that the address property is missing so we can mark it as optional and now we no longer have compilation errors. So as you can see 
These type definitions can be combined together to produce complex types. 